let us talk about a very simple question of the one tail t test. So what do you do? You are given with one regression. Y hat t is equal to 1.2088 plus 2.07422x2. And you are also given standard errors in the parenthesis. And what is being asked is that you have to check the statistical significance of the slope coefficient at 1%, right? So I'll set up the null hypothesis. I will say that this beta is equal to zero, right? But my alternative is, since this is a one tail test, let's say I say that beta, uh, beta is greater than zero, right? I'll say that beta is greater than zero. Now, I will set up the test statistic. Oh, you mean why zero? Kyun liye? Because I have to check the statistical significance, whether this is significant or not. But this will be significant only if this is not equal to zero. Na? And in our one tail t test, it should be greater than zero. Right? It could, it could also be less than zero. But I'm just assuming it is greater than zero. Test statistic is, so this formula you have to remember, is Tc, calculated T, is beta hat minus beta upon standard error of beta hat upon standard error of beta hat, right? And this is distributed as T statistic with N minus two degrees of freedom. Here, let us say N we take as 14, right? N we take as 14. And why we have written n minus two? Because there are two parameters which you are estimating. One is alpha, other is beta, constant and the slope parameter. Right? So we will be calculating it for, for uh, this 14 minus two degrees of freedom. 14 minus two, 12 degrees of freedom, we will be checking. Let us calculate the test statistic. What is beta hat? Beta hat is 2.0. 0, 0.742 minus 0 pull upon standard error of beta hat. What is that equal to? 0 0.2536. 0 0.2536. And once you calculate this, this will come out to be 9.179. 9.179. Right? Okay. Now what do we now what we do is that we this is step one. This is step two. So step one is that you write your null and alternative properly. Step two is you write the test statistic. Step three is uh, what is the critical value of T? Right? Critical value of T. Value of T. So what do you do? You find out T star for n minus two degrees of freedom at a level of significance. So you have to calculate it at 1%. So you want to calculate this at T star 12, uh, 14 minus two, 12 degrees of freedom at 0 0.001, sorry, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, right? And this is a one tail test, right? So we will check that for 12 degrees of freedom, and 0 0.01. What is that? 2.68. Okay. Then what is the rejection rule? So rejection rule is, you had this guy. Hmm? This thing. And here you have T star this critical t n minus 2 with a degrees of freedom this is t star n minus 2 at a degree uh, sorry t star n minus 2 at a level of significance what is this value equal to 2.68 right 2.68 so if the calculated t falls in this region that is if tc is greater than t star you reject H0. Right? In this region, 
you do not reject H0. What does it mean? If you're calculated T, what is your calculated T? 9.179. What is the uh, critical T? 2.68. So 9.179 is greater than 2.68. So 9.179 will lie to the right of 2.68. Huh? So you can reject. So you will write if calculated T is greater than T star, reject H naught. Reject H0 means you are rejecting that beta is equal to 0. And you are saying that yes, beta is greater than 0. So you are rejecting the null of non-significance. Beta equal to 0 is non-significance. So you are rejecting H0. You are rejecting the null of non-significance. So in case of the same thing would have been asked for the two-tailed test. Right? Then how do you go about this? Two-tailed test. So in case of two tail test, what you do? First step, you write the null. Null is, let's say, beta is equal to zero. Right? Whenever they ask you about checking the statistical significance, what exactly they mean is that you are you're going to check whether this beta is in fact equal to zero or not equal to zero. Alternative is beta not equal to zero. It can be greater than zero. It can be it can be less than zero, but it is not equal to zero. What is the test statistic? Beta hat minus beta upon standard error of beta hat. This is no. This is distributed as a t distribution with n minus two degrees of freedom. And remember. When you are doing a two-tailed test, and let's say you are going to check it at 1%, right? So you will cut 0 0.5, 0 0.5% from both the tails. Are you with me? So it is A by 2. If I say that you have to check it for A% percent level of significance, then you have to cut A by 2, A by 2 from both the sides. Right? So what does it mean? What is TC then? I'll, I'll tell what exactly I mean. I'll show you in a graph. Beta hat is what? 2.072 minus beta ko kya liya hai tumne? 0 upon standard error of beta hat is 0 0.2536. So this comes out to be same only 9.179. Right? Okay. What is the critical T? T star is uh, you will be checking it at 14 minus 2, 12 degrees of freedom. You want to check for the 1% level of significance. So you will you will cut 0 0.5, 0 0.5% on both the sides. So it is 0. Point, your 005 from both the sides. Right? So that is the point. So you have to at 12% level of significance and 0. 0.005. So what is that? 3.05. 3.05 hmm? little whatever you want. So what do you mean? You have so I am cutting T star n minus 2 a by 2 from both the sides. Okay, beta. So, agar in case if the calculated T falls here or it falls here, you reject H0. You reject the hypothesis of no significance. And uh, if it falls here in this region, calculated T, you do not reject.
you do not reject H one. So what is your calculated T? So what is the rejection rule? Fourth point, if modulus of TC is greater than T star, modulus of TC is greater than T star, you will say you will reject. So this should be minus here. I'm so sorry. Then reject H naught. Reject H naught. So 9.179 is greater than 3.056. Now, so in this case, yes, you reject the null hypothesis of no significance. Why no significance? Because you're saying beta equals to zero, right? So, right. I hope this was useful to you. Thank you, Rupa.